Hello and welcome to My Life in Prism. Tonight we are going to talk about Disney pins. My wife and I got started with Disney pins on our most recent trip to Disney. We hadn't ever really done it before. We had like one or two pins and we started watching videos on YouTube about pin trading and our kids got real excited about it. We watched um, a group of ladies who has a YouTube site which I think is Everything Disney Pins and they have a Facebook site which is they just changed Everything their name. Everything Mousy Pins. Everything Mousy Pins. Uh, and we started there. They have this great like mystery bag that they send you. I think it's $30 for 10 pins and they're 10 guaranteed authentic non-scrapper, scrapper free, all these fun terms that we learned. Um, basically they're not fake. They're guaranteed to be real pins. So they go to the parks, they trade pins, they go all into pin trading, they film their pin trading so you can check out their YouTube. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch and our kids got really involved with it so we ordered our first set of Disney pins from them. Um, the kids loved them, we divided them up, we got some special pins which we kept uh, and you'll see they're in our collection that we got from them. And that started our pin journey. Uh, all the other pins that we tried getting uh, on eBay, were, well, the first set was pretty unsuccessful. We got pins uh, shipped to us from some other site overseas, and it was like 50 or 100 pins for, I think it was 100 pins for like $50. Seemed like a really great deal. When we got them, we saw that they were all fake. Every single pin was fake, not a single one. And in another video, I'll go through fake and non-fake pins. Some of the pins I have in my collection are fake. Some of them I'll trade. Some of them I'll keep just because I like the pin unless I get a uh, real version of it, then I'll, I'll trade that one out. But we don't want fake pins to trade in the parks. We don't want to be those people. So we only wanted authentic pins. So on eBay, um, we wanted to expand our collection. So we had more uh, tradable pins um, for a little bit uh, more cost effective. So we found that we can trade up, uh, not trade, but we can buy these blind bags on eBay. We got a couple different collections, Tsum Tsums, the Vinyl Mations, and this one here is a Star Wars cutie. Well, we and, had a bunch more, but these are just yes. the most recent ones we've purchased. These are the most recent ones that we have. And these are all authentic. They come in the Disney package. They're normally $27.99 for five mystery pins. So it's like less than $5 a pin, which isn't bad because if you go to the parks to buy the pins, they start out, I think, like $7.99 or $8.99, and then the tiers go up to almost $20 a pin. So all in all, it's not a bad deal. Uh, but online, you can get these for about... 10 to 15 dollars a bag so about half price um, and that's with the shipping so we wind up getting them online the uh, ones that we like we keep and the ones we don't like we we send out so I'll show you what we have in these bags first and then I'll go into our collection that we have already established um, we're gonna be making some new pin boards pretty soon I'm gonna be breaking up my collection uh, with the new collectibles that I have and the new pins that I have and we're gonna redesign our, our room a little bit so we'll get to that in another video but for tonight, we'll just show you what pins that we have right now. So these are the Tsum Tsum pins. We did our... They didn't come opened. We already we opened yes, them. Yes, we've already opened them. And there's in the back is the type of pins that you can get. There's a shadow from the camera. Oh, that's all right. So I'll just show you ones we have. We have this dude. Stumper. That's Stumper. I call him a dude. Lady. We've got Bambi. We got a Dalmatian. I know that one probably has a name, but I don't know which one that is because there's about 101 of them, I think. And we got the fish. I don't know what the fish is from. Theo. It's Theo. What's Theo from? Isn't it from? He's sitting next to Pinocchio in the. Thing. Maybe he's Pinocchio. If you guys know who Theo's from, is it Theo? Let me know. I don't even know if his name is Theo. So if you know who the fish is, let me know. So that's that's the Tsum Tsums. This is the Star Wars cuties. And I gotta say, this one here was probably the most awesome pack we've gotten. <laughs> I think every single pin that came in this pack was a pin we want from the back. They're all pretty cool, anyways. They are. I, I like the cuties design. We got the cool Jawa. Should put them up here in front of these. All right, there's the Jawa. We got Princess Leia, or Leia. Depends on which Star Wars movie you see as to how they pronounce it. Really? Yeah, there's a guy who calls her Princess Leia in the first Star Wars movie. We got Yoda. Got the Fett. 
Good old Bubba. And we got Chewy. So that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna push them on back. Show you the next five that we got. I'm just gonna do that, make life easy. Alright, so these are vinyl nations. Yes, vinyl nations. I think vinyl nations are pretty cool. They're basically like Mickey's with different graphics on them. I like that one a lot. That's probably my favorite one that's in this pack. It's like the rain. With the really? purple. Mm -hmm. I thought the skeleton would have been. Probably my second favorite. Got this one. Got race car. I see you. And Mr. Skeleton. Alright, so those are the vinyl nations that we have. Alright, I'll be right back with our pin sets. They're framed, so I'll show you the frames first, and then I'll take them out and put them on the table uh, so you can see a little better. Alright, and we're back. So these are the two frames that we have. I would say there's probably close to 70 to 90 pins in the two frames. Um, we got a lot. We bought some at the parks. And again, we bought a lot of packs that we traded as well uh, when we got to the park. So the collection to my right is the pins for my wife and myself. And the one to my left are the pin collection for our two kids. Well, we have three kids, but two of them are pin trading because my youngest is a little bit too little to start that. So next year or the next time we go, she'll get her own frame. All right, I'm going to start you off with my collection and go ahead and show you what we have in here. I'll start off with my Star Wars pins. You're going to pull them all out? I'm going to pull my pins out because I'm going to have to reset mine anyway. It's going to be a long video. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one, my favorite, is the Millennium Falcon, or Falcon. Depends on which Star Wars movie you watch. What's pretty cool about this pin is that it is a limited edition of uh, 6,000. It's really heavy. And the base turns into a little stand. Yeah, it's so look nice. Yes. So this is a pretty phenomenal pin. We got it when we were there for May the 4th, May the 5th. Um, which this is year. a great segue into my next two pins, which is May the 4th Be With You and Revenge of the 5th. Another cool pin that my wife got me is an awesome Darth Vader. This is one that we got in a set that we traded most of. It was like a booster set, but I really like this pin because it's like a silhouette of someone riding the bike. And I really like the, I just like the pin, so I kept it and didn't trade this one. Uh, we traded the other ones from the set. This one here is from an Easter themed set. <laughs> And it's a little egg R2-D2, but I don't really see it as an egg, because R2 is kind of this shapish anyway. So I kept it because I liked it. Now, as you guys noticed, there is a Tsum Tsum package. I'm a fan of Tsum Tsums. You'll see there's giant Tsum Tsums in my house. we got little stuffed Tsum Tsums. I did my blind bag video. I got Tsum Tsums. I don't know why I like them. I just do. So these are on the ground now. <laughs> These are Star Wars Tsum Tsums. So we got Darth Vader. I'll just lay this one down for right now. We got Bubba Fett. I've got R2. That's not Star Wars. I've got C3PO. And I've got Jabba. So that's. Oh, and I have one other one. This one I got for Father's Day. And it says. Number one dad in the galaxy. And when you think about it, he might not have been perfect. It's very hard to see. Oh, but dad. He might not have been the perfect father, but he did care about Luke. And in the end, he sacrificed himself to save him. So sweet. Best dad ever. Going on to my next collection. Oh, we'll stay with Tsum Tsum theme. I have a couple non Star Wars Tsum Tsums as well. I've got a Mickey, I've got a Donald, and I've got an Eeyore. And I think these were from a Tsum Tsum set that we got. No, we didn't trade for these ones. None of these pins here 
um, were traded. These are all ones that I either purchased or gifted to me, uh, or we got in blind bags, or I bought at the parks on uh, May the 4th and May the 5th. So that's the Star Wars set that I have. So I'm just going to put them over there. The next collection I have here is my Aladdin collection. So I'll start out with this one here. It's pretty cool. I think it's real. It's a chaser, and the chaser is an all-silver pin of the genie. These are pins that I traded. I traded for the genie shirt. I got genie with the goofy hat. Dancing genie with the lamp. This is one that we purchased from, at the time, was everything Disney pins. Now is... Mousy, you can, you can talk. Everything mousy pins. Everything mousy pins. Um, th so that was one that we purchased online. That was one of my. That was the pin that I bought for myself. We each went online and picked out a pin that we wanted for each other as like our pin that we're not going to trade. And then we got the mystery sets. That was my. That was at the very start of our collection. Yeah, that was like the first first pin that I bought that started me into it. That was part of my collection, and I went and found all these Aladdin pins. There's my Jafar tie. And I found all these other pins um, while trading. Except for this one. I think you bought me this one as well. And you bought me this one here. Which is a pretty cool one. It's Jafar saying, Let me show you how snake-like I can be! And he turns into a big snake. And then we have Jafar looking all cute. So most of these were, were traded. Um, as I said, save for these two and the one over there. The rest were all traded in the park. So it's kind of a neat collection. I like the fact that I got it from trading pins, that it wasn't pins that I went and just bought. So it's a collection that I'm growing based upon trade, and that's kind of neat, because you don't know what you're going to find in the parks, and that's what makes it kind of fun. So that's why I'm trying to have a couple different collections going. You know, so I have the Tsum Tsums, i got Star Wars, I've got Aladdin, and you'll see I've got a little bit of like a miscellaneous thing happening here. And I have my next collection, which I'll show you now. I found one of these pins in the park, and I was happy to at least found one. I didn't think I'd find any Roger Rabbit pins, but Roger Rabbit is probably one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, I love it. And my wife bought me this giant Jessica Rabbit pin. I would say this is considered a jumbo pin because of how big it is. Mm. I got Jessica loving on Donald. Donald, oh my gosh. Roger. I'm getting my ducks confused. He's not even a duck, he's a rabbit. It's late. This is my silver chaser of Jessica. Now this one here is red hot. The one that I got in the park from trading was the silver chaser. Um, I was just surprised to actually see a Jessica Rabbit or Roger Rabbit themed pin at all up for trade. Um, just because it's not a current movie and it's not any of the current pins that they're making. They do every once in a while put out a Jessica Rabbit or Roger Rabbit pin, maybe once a year, um, but it's nothing that's like very popular. They're pushing out a ton of, so it was kind of neat to see that. And then I'll top off my collection with my kind of miscellaneous ones. This is one that I got. Um, I don't remember where I got this one. I know this one is fake. Let me see it. But I kept it because I just thought oh, it was. I got. Uh, I think I bought it for you. Put it in that book I made you. Yes, but I like it. I bought it on eBay. I like it because it says Disney pin trading and it's kind of like a perfect centerpiece to my pin collection um, and I haven't seen anything like this in the parks or anywhere else so fake or not I think that it's pretty awesome because that kind of you know it's what we're doing now we're doing all the pin trading so I think it's pretty awesome I love it I traded for the Swedish chef because he's fun I saw this and I hadn't seen any Marvel pins at all anywhere since Disney bought Marvel but this is a Disney Marvel pin um, it's really nice actually it's very well made it's, it's definitely that's real. the Green Goblin and I was pretty impressed with that I but, actually found that for you while you were in the bathroom yeah she did it's true and I traded for it for you this one here was a series of pins again we traded most of the series that we got it was like a booster set but I liked the Epcot Spaceship Earth pin I just I just like the whole look of it and the aesthetic. It's a so hidden Mickey. I kept it, and it is a hidden Mickey. Can you find the Mickey? It's not really that hidden, but it's on there. This is another one of those... Vinylmations. Yep, Vinylmations, and I'm big into music and love music, and so found that that was pretty perfect. Got this one here. This was given to me as a gift from my friend. 
That is a Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He also bought me the May the 4th Star Wars pen. Mm -hmm. And this is one that I've had for a while. I guess you'd say this is probably my first Disney pin trading pen that I got. Your parents bought that for you. I got it a very long time ago. Um, and you can see on the back it says Disney pin trading, if you can kind of see that. All the pins are stamped Disney pin trading on the back. And the last one that I got is really cool. Um, this pin I got because we follow another vlogger who goes to Disney all the time, the Tim Tracker. If you don't watch the Tim Tracker, you should watch the Tim Tracker. He is very funny. Him and his wife, on Jen. Yes, on YouTube. Him and his wife, Jen, go to not just Disney, but they go to all different parks, all different things. They just basically In go Florida. all over Florida and Orlando. Um, and they're just really funny and fun to watch. Um, they got great videos, and they post much more frequently than I do. Uh, they basically, they try to post every single day. And once a week, they do a live video that you can actually talk to them and, and interact with them. And they're just a really awesome group of people. Uh, so we started following them, but he's really big into Darwin Duck, and I like Darwin Duck as well. And I happened to find a Darwin Duck Easter egg pin. It's an Easter egg, but it's still Darwin Duck, and it's I thought that was Mickey. that was pretty awesome. Um, it is also a real pin, so to find a real Darwin Duck pin, hidden um, Mickey at that, and a hidden Mickey is I was I was real excited about that. Hidden Mickeys are are very often uh, faked. Yes. So that's it for my collection. I've got quite a lot of pins. Um, Maybe we should do the other collections in a separate video. All right. I will show you the other collections in a separate video. So that does it for all of my pins. Um, again, definitely check out the Tim Tracker. Uh, just because we're talking Disney, Orlando, Florida. Super cool video, super cool guy, and super amazing mustache. And if you watch it, you'll understand. And everything is new. And definitely check out Everything Disney Pins, their videos. They also have another set of videos, I can't speak, videos, uh, called Sea Cruisers, where they go through all like, the Disney cruises, and they go on all the cruise ships, and they show you just everything they have, and it just it's just a fun time. They're great, fun videos to watch. And then definitely check out their site that they have, guaranteed 100% real pins. We order off there. Uh, we got stuff shipped to us from there. I've always been satisfied. I mean, you take a gamble when you shop on eBay, when you shop online, and if there's a certain pin you're looking for and you want it to do it for your collection, I would not buy it on eBay. Most likely it's going to be fake. I would definitely encourage you to go to their site if you're looking for especially one-off pins or pins to build to your collection or, or, and, or anything like that. Do it from their site. Um, mousy Disney pins. Uh, if you look them up on everything mousy pins. Okay, everything mousy pins. I'm sorry. I, I've been and Their gone. YouTube channel is still everything Disney pins. Yes. I'm just confused.